uh, 35-2 Hampshire gilt. Uh, we had a we had a, a navel sucker in the nursery in this 35 litter here. When we got them in, uh, we had a little extra skin on some of those. Um, so uh, when Doc Slater was out, we had him tighten some of that skin up. So if you come and you see, there may be, you may see a little stitching underneath, but uh, we just had some a uh, little cosmetic work done to make sure those things were, were clean as we moved through the summer and there was no worries, uh, no uh, umbilical hernia or anything like that. Just a little loose skin that we got cleaned up. Uh, but I think if, aside from that, I think if you analyze this pig, I think this is a very good Hampshire gilt, kind of the combination gilt, or, or I guess in terms of what you see between uh, the 35 litter, uh, but uh, one that uh, I think has a pretty high ceiling. Stash two gilt walks in, and she's the feminine, good-looking one, and I love that about her. I mean, from the side, just so ladylike in terms of her lines and the way she feeds, feeds out of the front side of her shoulder. Uh, she is a little greener muscle than her sisters, and I don't mind that because I think she's got a smooth, feminine kind of muscle. A big thing for me, though, that gilt's outline is so, so memorable just in terms of uh, having a neat kind of head shape. She's tall-shouldered. She's loose in terms of her skeleton, and I will say for being the skinny one, as you get right in behind that hog, she's got big big ankles and to me I think that hog's probably actually going to come uh, with some bone later in life and these hamsters can be a little tougher to read in terms of bone but she's got big feet normally big feet mean big bones long term she's just got such a neat look though and just this gilt's added pattern her added extension her added height the shoulder and she just got a bigger kind of outline to her uh, if you like your hamsters neat looking bendy built and just a uh, Really, really attractive from the side. Uh, this is the one, uh, I think, out of this group that a guy could land on and really uh, do some good things with. I think this guild is a big one, could be extra special because uh, she's got the extra frame and balance and build to go ahead and handle uh, just a little more gas at the end of the day. Another animal here in these 35s that uh, just reads with a lot of quality.